I guess those heavy parts are sounding good. Bob Ross seems to be liking it. He's head banging. Super pumped to get to recording. I know this looks kind of weird. Let me see if I can focus it because it's. There we go. Now I'm double masking um, and just spraying alcohol everywhere because I heard one of the neighbors here got COVID, so I'm being extra careful. So I'm all by myself here, which makes things a little bit um, complicated. <laughs> What I've been doing is I actually take, I bring along some food, bring along some coffee and some water just so I can sort of be here for the whole day. Um, I do lessons from here now for this week. If you're some of my students, you've probably been talking and you've probably seen the background already. Yeah, here we go. Let me show you guys the setup. There we go, there we go, that's a colossal mess right there. Um, so this is the mess I've created at his place. Just you can see all the cables and the craziness. My trusty sir that I always use in all my videos. Um, yeah, I'm planning on doing the whole record with that guitar. Uh, yesterday I recorded clean guitars and rhythm guitars, um, like all the funky and, and distorted tones for the song Transmutation. Hopefully that's still the name of the, of the song when the album comes out. Um, today I'm going to go over that again just to make sure that everything's there. I think I might be ready to actually do the leads on that one, at least the main leads, not the solos yet. Um, and then I think I might get on to Force Majeure today, which is going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me turn these on. What to do when a part just doesn't want to come out, just repeat the same thing over and over and over again. Alright, so. Secondary recording, done. Um, I did force majeure today. I did all the rhythm tracks. Um, I think I did all the lead tracks as well. Let me see, yeah, I checked them out. I've just gotten finished doing some of the clean stuff, but there's not a lot of lead work on this one. Um, this is what we got so far. I don't know if you can see it, if it's in focus. Um, I'm tired. I'm gonna shut everything down like this, plow, and heading home. So, waking up right now. It's day three. Kind of pumped. Kind of tired as well. It's been working a ton. Um, and just decided to show you guys a little bit of what goes on recording day. I don't know if you can hear Kitty in the background. Now, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes. I don't know if you watch my YouTube lessons, but if you do, you recognize this space. Uh, there it is. It's nice and focused. And then, just gonna head out to the kitchen. There she is. There she is. The final star of the show. Just made it. This is Frankie J's Studio Supreme. Um, I just got to the makeshift studio. I have my sir coffee with me. Alright, so. Oh, wait, before I forget. Big shout out and thank you to my friend Franco who I mentioned before 
He's actually another guitar player, another YouTuber out there, so check out his channel. I provided the link up here somewhere. Um, so big thank you for lending me your apartment, Frank. It's only been three days of recording and I've got a ton done. A lot of the like backup guitars are pretty much done. Um, there's still Eaton Mess and Four Little Paws. Um, Eaton Mess, that's the big monster I'm gonna try to tackle tomorrow. Um, and then I got Four Little Paws, but that one I can't do anything about. Um, at least for now in terms of the backup guitars, because I'm waiting on an acoustic guitar that I ordered from Sweetwater. A lot of these songs have been written for about two or three years now. Um, can't wait to be finished and show you guys the progress. Right, I think I'm done for today. It's still early, 8.44, but I got in I think about four lessons today. Um, and I got in, I, I, I went through and fixed some of the stuff in Force Majeure and then recorded pretty much all of the parts except for the leads and the science fair. Nope. Yep. done although it can't be technically seen on the board but I'm working on Eaton Mess which is the hardest tune in the record and to be honest I did more than I thought I was gonna do today That's the one. I really do believe that's the one. Good, because I'm running out of battery. I was planning on recording tomorrow, but I think tomorrow I'll just shut down for the weekend. Um, my hands do are feeling the burn for sure. Um, so yeah, I think the best thing to do is just to take a break for the weekend and then just keep going next um, Monday. Um, anyways, on the weekend I'm setting up back. I'm setting shop again in my apartment and I'll review all the guitars and see if if everything's there or if I have to redo anything next week. I have to go check some acoustics. I did talk to the guys at Sweetwater today. Apparently the guitar is not arriving until just about the end of December. Whatever, I can't even talk anymore. So tired today from today. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So I'm done here for the day and for the week. Week number two and I am on my way to pick up the keys for the studio. Um, kind of pumped, already got a plan for today. Hopefully I can get everything done because I don't have a lot of time to actually record today. So week two, um, this is the second day of week two. Yesterday I couldn't get a whole ton done. And today I'm starting to practice the main riff on Eton Mass and I'm also getting to practice the leads on the science fair. If I can record any of those today that'd be great because um, I gotta do a couple things today. I don't have a whole ton of time. I also gotta go to the vet today um, and I gotta buy some groceries. What sucks about tapping is when you land on your nail instead of the fingertip. Just ruins everything. I want to get to go. Let's go to the next section. I've been working on the same section for the whole day. I still can't get it on time. That happens. This is just 
to show you guys that it just happens. Um, it's a really hard bit, especially to get it down in time. Um, I also recomposed around a little bit um, on that section just to get a little bit fuller. Um, but yeah, right now, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Oh, I can't see it right now. Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much just a metronome. So I'm practicing it at 100. The actual song is at 148. So yeah, got a little bit of a ways to go. It's just a matter of relearning the bit and then getting it down on time. And I'm back. I actually listened to the tracks that I said I couldn't get yesterday. Um, they were pretty good. I'm gonna leave one of them in. The other one I'm redoing just because one of those fast runs was, was a little bit dirty, so I'm going to redo the whole thing. So, yeah, back to E10 Mass, to that little breakdown section. So the camera died for a second because the memory card got full. I'm, I'm getting excited because I can sort of see the, the end already. Like most of the rhythm guitars are done. Um, a lot of the lead stuff is already done. Actually, you know, I was checking stuff out of the list. I eliminated the list because I saw there was a lot of stuff that needed to be done aside from that. So, okay, so here we go. The, the, the battery's dying now. So I guess I'll just cut it out now. Back in the studio. Now, finally, finally, finally got the acoustic guitar. So first off, let me show off the guitar. Check this out. the way the guitar sounds it plays really well it plays really really well tension's a tiny bit um, hard but it feels relatively good it doesn't matter if it's if the tension is too hard I'm finally figuring out some okay tunes okay sounds with the microphones and yeah still working still having some some hell of fun <laughs> Day number two of um, acoustic stuff, as you can tell, I'm sort of doing like a makeshift um, acoustic treatment, not acoustic treatment, just putting as much stuff around me. So for now, I'm doing, I've got a bunch of different picks here I'm going to be playing around with. Right now I'm doing this Clayton pick that I used, it's one of the first picks, like when I bought my first electric guitar, this pick was was came in that same order. I'm also trying out this Osnoy pick um, with the guys from Exotic. I just got this one in Nam. I'm gonna try this one out. It's just, it's called the Symbolic. It's a pick made out of symbol material. And I actually tried these two weird picks that I have. I got a pretty bright tone. So I believe I found. Uh, the uh, the combination I'm gonna use for the for the tune. So I'm going with the Osnoy pick. It's a little darker. I kind of wanted to use the Clayton just because it's nostalgic and whatnot. But the Osnoy pick has a, a little bit of a deeper sound. Um, all the, while it retains some of that clarity and some of that brightness. Um, and then for the actual arpeggiated parts, I'm gonna be using my custom pick. I'm going with the Sure 57. I'm using the the Mike Pre, the inline Mike Pre, uh, fat head, and of course the acoustic is the new Taylor I got, the Academy 10E. So finally done with, um, th these are the acoustics for Four Little Paws. 
Um, finally done with all the acoustics and that song. Um, I gotta leave this thing up um, and check out the other tunes because there might be some acoustics that I can add. I wanted to take this thing down today, but I'm not gonna go through this whole mounting, this craziness all over again. So I'm just gonna wait a couple couple days, listen to the to the other tunes, um, and check out where I can add some rhythm guitar, some strumming, and all that to just fill it up a little bit. Update for what day is it today? I'm actually gonna start doing dates. December 17th. Um, I'm working on solos today. I'm working on the solo for Eaton Mass. To be honest, I was a little bit frustrated because I wasn't getting any ideas um, that I liked for the last couple days. Because even though I have been finishing up the acoustics and some of the melodies and some of the finishing guitar details, um, I had been starting to play along a tiny bit with um, the actual solos. Um, but today, I finally sat down. I have the full-on contour for what I want. For what I want on eat and mess so I'm pumped hopefully you guys like it when you actually get in the record it's really cool because I actually have a featured solo uh, guest guitar player guest artist here which is Israel Romero he's got the first solo in the in the song and then I come in with my thing um, I'm pumped I'm finally it's finally getting to where I'm liking the ideas for the solos I don't know if it's just that I had been away from soloing for pretty much since I got started on the album because all I've been doing is backing guitars. But finally, finally I'm getting some good ideas or at least what I think are good ideas. Something, some things that I'm actually enjoying. Um, so I'm pumped. Yeah, can't wait for you guys to listen to this. I think that's the closest I've ever come to actually finishing the solo, actually doing a, a good take of the solo. That's really nice, so I think that's gonna be my new guide track. I think that's the one. I think that's the one. I just gotta listen back to it. Let's see. Let's, I'm gonna hit save before I do anything else. I gotta check the messages because I got a lesson in 10 minutes. Hopefully, that's the one. I still gotta check. It's getting there, it's getting there. Eh, so I'm just starting out. <laughs> That's a good idea, though. That's a good idea. So I'm gonna keep it and then erase the last guide solo I had. That's how I, that's sort of my flow, my workflow for solos. I improvise and I, as I do a couple takes, I start grabbing ideas that I enjoy and then I'll just play those same ideas and start working around those, so changing up different lines in between. Um, then I'll listen to it a couple times and then add in lines that I want to hear instead of stuff that I just play. Um, I'll, I'll actually go, oh, maybe I want to play this melody there, and I'll start injecting that in there. Once I have the final solo that I like, I'm actually, of course, it makes sense that I'm working more on these solos than on the stuff that I publish on the videos because it's a record and I feel more of a weight or responsibility with this. So I'll, I'll do a couple more runs than I usually do and then once I have something that I'm like super happy with I'll clean it up and then I'll learn the whole thing and then play it. Let's keep at it. Let's do one more then I'll take a quick break because I've been at it for a while now.
last day of recording before Christmas Day. Um, for today, I hope to get record the second solo of Eaton Mess, which I absolutely forgot about. And then I want to do the solo for the science fair, which is halfway done. I have the, the way it begins. I have the main melody done. And I have sort of what I want to do at the ending, which is like an arpeggio type of thing. Hopefully I can get it done by today. I wanted to do an update, a really quick update. I was actually playing the solo wrong this whole time. Um, fixed it. Um, let me show it to you guys really quickly, just because why not? Let's listen to it. I think that's the one. I think that's the one. I'll listen to it a couple times. I'll probably do a couple extra takes just in case. That one's really good. I have three more hours later to work on this and work on a different solo. This was really good, like this. So... I don't know, I'll just keep it. I'll, I'm gonna do a lesson now. After the lesson, I'll come back and see if I still like it. Right, so today is done. I'm actually kinda happy with what I got to do today. I actually did the second solo for Ethan Mass. Um, I have it in camera and on camera somewhere in there. I gotta look it up, see which one it is. Um, I also got the solo for the science fair. So yeah, I still got transmutation and I still got four little paws. Those are the two last solos I gotta do. I'll get back here tomorrow morning. I'll work on transmutation. Because the solo for transmutation, again, is an improvised solo that I did. Um, when I was actually writing the track and I listened to it so much that I I decided to keep it as well. And yeah, hopefully I can do that at least part of it tomorrow and then when I come back is this I'm doing Christmas break, I'm visiting my family. Once I get back from Christmas break, I'll do the solo for four little paws. See you tomorrow. I'm going home, I'm gonna eat, I'm hungry. Not even close. So today is the last day of 2020. This is December 31st. Um, I'm getting done here today just to get on my car and go to my dad's house and, and spend just spend the, the last day of the year, you know, uh, New Year's and, what, and all that jazz. So January 7th, I'm back at the makeshift studio. Um, I started editing everything, I'm just cleaning up the beginning and the ends of every track. Um, and I noticed that most of the lead parts in Transmutation actually had some pops. So I gotta come back and re-record most of the lead stuff for Transmutation. But pretty much everything else is already done. I'm gonna try to get that done today. It's 9.30 a.m. right now, I'm gonna be here until 10. Um, PM. In between, I'll be doing all the. Um, I gotta edit one last song and, and just review all the tracks to make sure they're good, and re-record all the stuff for transmutation. Hopefully, I'll be done by today. If not, I'll be done by tomorrow. And we're ready to record. Okay, so today, I think it's finally the last day um, of recording and doing anything else. I just felt a little uncomfortable with certain bits of certain songs. Um, and I fixed everything, absolutely everything that I felt uncomfortable with. And at this point, I think I'm done. But I've said this like five times already. If I am done with the process, you know, because whatever the next scene is within the documentary will be me going, yay, I'm done, I just turned everything in. If it's not, then I'll be doing another one of these videos. <laughs> 
So the last week has been a full-on marathon. I've been just editing out of my mind. And yeah, I was editing and editing. I thought I had finished with the, I was finished with the recording. But I found a lot of pops in Transmutations, which is the first song I recorded, so there's a lot of errors there. Um, I actually erased the main melody for Four Little Paws out of a mistake. I didn't do it on purpose. Um, and it might be a little bit of irony, because the last night I was editing the, well, Four Little Paws, um, Kitty actually jumped on the keyboard and something moved out of place. And then I just hit undo and kept on editing. So it might have been raised when she jumped on the keyboard. Or well, whatever, I just recorded that yesterday. I re-recorded the melody for the science fair today. So that's that should be good. And by the way, the mixing engineer is going to be Simon Grove. The amazing, amazing Simon Grove. So can't wait to have to turn those in, to turn the files in, and then to listen to the actual end result. Alright, so it's day 5347. And we're still here. We thought we, I was I thought I was done with the recording process by the end of last year. I got to checking track by track. I found a lot of tiny errors. Now I'm here. Today is the last day because I do intend to turn in everything to mixing tomorrow. Doesn't matter what happens. I've already checked everything. I don't even know how many times. Last times I did, I actually got it in writing track by track. So this is edit one, I mean edit two. Like right now, sublimation is done because it's pretty much all like no guitars there. Um, nostalgia is done because it's kind of simple in terms of the tracks. Transmutation, I just finished up and that I gotta say, it was the worst track to work with because it was the first track I recorded. So it had a lot, a lot, a lot of technical issues. A lot of clicks, a lot of pops. I almost had to redo the whole song. I finished off the science fair, which the melody gave me some issues. Um, four little pauses done, I had some issues with that. Last two to go are Force Majeure and Eaton Mass. I'm gonna get to recording those right now. So, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I just finished recording the last line. Long, long, long process. A lot of work went into this. I hope that it's good and that you guys like it. So February the 6th, 2021. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. Just a quick clap, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I can't wait to listen to the final version of this. I guess I just shut up. I should just shut up, really. But I'm so excited. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm pumped, I'm pumped. I'm just talking a bunch of BS because I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up. And that's it. That's it for this long, long, long journey. I'm done. Bye.